Hello dear students, in this video we're going to talk about the present perfect and the past simple tense. First, let's start with the past simple. We use the past simple tense to talk about events or actions that happen in the past and have no connection to the present time. I will استخدم the past simple in an abatkalaman events hasalit fil past to malhash aya loko fil present time. For example, she wrote the letter on Wednesday. Again, we use the past simple tense to tell a story in the past. I went to the library, then I looked for the books I needed to write the essay. I read them and finally I started writing it. Here, then we use the past simple in an abstraction and a backy kusa. We use this tense also to talk about habits in the past. When I was young, I visited my uncle twice a week. برضو بستخدم ال past simple وأنا بتكلم عن past habits عادات أنا كنت متعود أعملها في ال past وطبعا ملهاش أي علاقة بال present time. Number four, we use the past simple tense to talk about past facts or generalizations like People paid much more to make cell phone calls in the past. Also, we use the past simple tense to talk about long-term situations in the past, which are no longer true. I don't understand the past simple tense. How can I tell you about مواقف أو حاجات كانت بتحصل في الباست وقعدت لفترة طويلة بتحصل يعني she worked at the hospital for over 15 years هي اشتغلت كانت بتشتغل في الحاسبت اللي أكتر من 15 عام What about the keywords used in the past simple tense? We have yesterday, ago, last week, last month, in and then again in the past and then in the past, once, once upon a time, etc. How do we form the past simple tense? From the second conjugation. So, for example, if I say I ate cheese, we ate cheese, you ate, they ate, or the past, or, or the negative form, he didn't eat, or she didn't eat, or they didn't eat. So, pay attention in the past. We have only one form that can be used with all personal pronouns, I, we, they, you, all of them have only one form for the verb. And in the past, we use didn't um, or did. This is for interrogative and negative. Questions and short answers. In questions, we use did. For example, did I eat? So pay attention whenever you have did or didn't. Don't forget to use the infinitive or the base form of the verb. نأخذ بالنا إن did لازم يستخدم معها the base form of the verb أو اللي هو بسمي the infinitive. يعني did the verb معها لازم يكون infinitive. So did I eat? Did you eat? Etc. But what about uh, if I, uh, I if I make the short answer? So yes, I did. Yes, we did. Or yes, he did. Or no, he didn't. Then let's talk about the spelling rules. For most verbs, add ed. I called him on Monday. For verbs ending in e, add d. She danced in front of all of us. So here, dance it ends in e. So we just add d. For verbs ending in consonant, plus vowel, plus consonant, double the last letter and add ed, like stop. It ends in p sound, or p, preceded by o, and the o is preceded by a consonant. So we duplicate the last letter, the stop, stop. So double b, or big, big, double g. For verbs ending in consonant plus letter Y, remove the Y and add IED like study, studied. But what about if I say play? The Y is preceded by a sound. This is vowel, so we just add ED. So played. Then let's move on to the present perfect tense. Usage. 
We use the present perfect to express an idea that something happened before now at an unspecified time in the past. Researchers have begun to worry about the disadvantages resulting from the improper use of computers. The event or action is completed in the past, but the exact time of the action is unknown or unimportant. أول استخدام للبريزنت بيرفكت إن أنا بتكلم عن حدث اكتمل في الباست أو حصل في الباست ولكن أنا مش عارف تاريخ حدوثه بالظبط إمتى تمام أنا كل اللي يهمني هو الحدث نفسه فهنا أبقول researchers have begun to worry about the disadvantages resulting from the improper use of computers أنا مجرد أنا بتكلم على بدء الباحثين في أن هم يقلقوا عن المساوئ استخدام الكمبيوتر أو الاستخدام الخاطر للكمبيوتر فهنا إمتى بدأ الكلام ده مش معروف لكن أنا بتكلم عن الحدث نفسه يبقى استخدامات الـ Present Perfect أن أنا بتكلم عن آيديا حصلت قبل التوقيت الحالي أو قبل الـ Present Time ولكن تاريخ حدوثها مش معروف فأنا الكل اللي يهمني الـ Idea أو الـ Action نفسه طيب استخدام الـ Present Perfect We use the Present Perfect to talk about an action that happened in the past but we still have its effect right now الاستخدام الثاني الـ Present Perfect أنا بتكلم عن حاجة حصلت في الـ Past ولكن الأثر بتاعها ما زال موجود For example, I have eaten my breakfast. I can't eat anything more. I'm full. أنا بتكلم عن eating the breakfast or the idea of eating breakfast is finished. But the effect is still. What's the effect? Is that I'm full? The effect هنا إن أنا بطني مليانة مش هقدر أكل حاجة تاني. فهنا الـ action هو الـ eating. The effect is that I'm full and I can't eat anything more. Tell us the name of the past, the present perfect. Also, we use the present perfect to talk about life experience. For example, I have worked for Mobilier for ten years. وأنا بتكلم عن the life experience برضو ممكن استخدم the present perfect. How do we form the present perfect? In positive form, we have have or has plus past participle. In the negative, have not or has not plus past participle. In the negative form or question form, we start the question with have or has plus subject and then past participle. The key words that are used in the present perfect, they are for since uh, we use for when we mention the length of a period of time how long have you been a doctor for 10 years so we use for to talk about length of time for عشان بتكلم على فترة زمنية فترة since we use it to talk about the starting point of something how long have you known each other since 1997 so here I'm talking about the starting point or since we were 27 so concerning for we can say for two years for three years for five hours for several weeks um, so all these things we use for plus a period of time or a length of time Again, we use for with some expressions like for a long time, for ages, for the last 10 years. Again, pay attention to the last one, for the last 10 years. So the last is followed also by a length of time. Concerning since, we can say since 1990, since July, since summer here. So here I'm talking about the beginning of um, the time or the, the, the starting point so since 7.30 since again can be followed by past something I haven't seen him since we were in Alex so here I'm talking about uh, a past event uh, used with the present perfect I haven't seen him since we were in Alex again since can be followed by last last week, last uh, summer last 
uh, term. Okay. Uh, let's move on with the rest of the keywords. We have ever and never. Ever, it is used in questions. Have or has, and then the subject, and then ever, and then post participle. Have you ever been to USA? Never, we use it in affirmative sentences. We cannot use never with not. I have never been to USA. Can we use not? No, never. I have never been to USA. We use the present perfect with the following time adverbs like just. Just indicates a very short time before now. The event or action had just vanished. Pay attention also that just um, we put it before has or have and the PP. Already it's the same usage. We put it before uh, in the middle between has or have and the PP. It is used in affirmative sentences, so have or has plus already plus plus participle. Yet it is used in negative and interrogative sentences. So at the we usually put yet at the end of the sentence. So I haven't finished yet. So here yet is used with the negative. Have you finished yet? So yet here it comes at the end of the sentence and it is used in interrogative sentence. Study the following. Have gone and have been. I have gone to the supermarket. The explanation here, I went and I'm still there. So have gone, it means that you went to the place and are still there. You haven't come back. But concerning I have been to the supermarket, I have bought many things. So here it means that I went and I came back. So the difference between have gone and have been, have gone, it means that you went to the place and you are still there. Have been, it means that you went and came back. Then let's talk about the present perfect versus past simple tense. First, the present perfect. We use the present perfect to talk about unstated or indefinite time. Teddy has bought a new bike, but we don't know when. But in the past simple, we talk about stated or definite time. In the past simple, we focus on the time itself. Daddy bought a new bike on Saturday. We know when. So here, the first difference between the present perfect and past simple is that in present perfect, we don't know when. But in the past simple, we know exactly when did it happen. Again, in present perfect, we talk about unfinished action. Daddy has gone shopping. He hasn't finished shopping yet. But concerning the past simple, we talk about finished action. Daddy went shopping. She has already finished shopping. Again, in the present perfect, the past action connected to the present. In the present perfect tense, we have a connection between past and present. Teddy has already eaten his breakfast. He can't eat anything. He's full. So here there is a connection between present and past. It's like, for example, he ate his breakfast, but we still have its effect right now, which is he cannot eat anything more. A hina key connection, a present perfect, it is dina mana in the action hasal fil post, walakil lim ti dead, il asar bitah mazel mawut. In contrast with the post simple, the post action has no connection to the present time. Back the post simple in the action. Malush ayya alaka bil present time Teddy ate his breakfast Maybe he's hungry now Khalas, ahna bqool huwa akal al breakfast Mungkin yiku, dilwati mungkin yiku ngahayin Khalas, ma fish connection bil present time Again, the present perfect is used with the following time adverbs For, since, recently, ever, never, already, just, yet, how long 
So Daddy has recently eaten some honey. But the post simple is used with the following. Last in the past, in last a year in the past, ago, yesterday, once, once upon a time. So Daddy went to the dentist last week. Post simple or present perfect. Study the following sentences. He has been to Paris. He has gone to the supermarket. He went to Paris in 2006. Pay attention here. We have the year. The year is mentioned, so this is past simple. They have known. They've known each other for 25 years. They met in England at the language school in 2009. So here, because you have the year, so we use the past simple tense. Justin sold his house to young couple yesterday. So here, because you have yesterday, so this is post simple tense. James has gone to London to find a job. He's still there. So an action uh, that is extended to the present time. So this is present perfect. He's still there. Here, it was very hot when we went there last year. Here, because you have lost. So this is past simple, so we use uh, was. Did you see the boss at the meeting yesterday? So here, because you have yesterday, this is past simple. Bob and Sam have lived in France for 10 years. So here you have four. So this is present perfect. We haven't met since we arrived. So since, so haven't, it's preceded by present perfect. Haven't met. It has been hot since we arrived here last week. So again here you have since, so it's preceded by present perfect. Past simple or present perfect. So lost her handbag last year. Here you have lost. This is past simple, so lost. Oh dear, I think I've left my handbag on the train. So here this is present perfect. Present perfect place is past simple. So I'd like you, dear students, to do this assignment and send it back to me. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.